It was April, and then the temperature was 90 degrees, and all the daffodils died immediately. Aragos skipper, all at the same time, Atlantic hawksbill sea turtle. In November of the previous year, a big piece of the Antarctic Pine Island glacier broke off. Banded sunfish. A crack had formed in the glacier in the middle of the previous year. Baron's buck moth. And then by November, the piece had just broken off. Big news thrush. Big news thrush. All of this happened far away from them. Black turn. Black turn. They had never even been to Antarctica. Blanding turtle. They learned that all this melting began to accelerate in 1988. Eastern Sand data that the rate of ice lost had doubled since 1988. Eastern Spadefoot Toad. They had been alive in 1988. Eskimo Kalu. They could not even remember thinking at all about the weather that year. Extra striped snake tail. After the piece of the Antarctic Pine Island glacier broke off, they couldn't stop thinking about glaciers, and the way they thought about glaciers the most was by reading about them on the internet, late at night, their eyes blurring and their shoulders tight. Hellbender. Often late at night to allay their worries, they try to see climate change as just one more tendency of life towards change. Little Bluet. They were not scientists and could not figure out what to blame or what the long-term consequences might be. And even if they were scientists, they might not be able to figure this out. Mountain Brook Lamprey. They made no claim to answers. They just noticed things. Mud sunfish. And the more they read, the more confused they became. Mud turtle. At this moment in their lives, there was more to read than ever before, and it was easier to acquire than ever before as it came through their computers. And all the time the computers had newer and better search engines, making more and more specific information easier to find. New England Cottontail. They felt they had to say that they knew that they were, in part, responsible for it, whatever it was that was causing this because they lived in the place that used the largest amount of the stuff most likely to cause this warming. Northern wild monkshood. Sometimes they thought that glaciers interested them because glaciers are like zombies, slow moving and full of stuff, full of stuff and can't be stopped. Sea beach amaranth. Like how in movies you can put a bunch of knives and bullets in a zombie and it keeps moving. Seaside sparrow. That is how they thought of glaciers, Sedgren Sai Whale. They move and no one can stop them, whichever way they go, sharp skin talk. And glaciers have 66% of the world's fresh water, Spoonhead Sculpin. Already, but a few years into this new century, there were water riots in various parts of the continent on which they lived. Spotted turtle. Water is a force and a resource of spruce grouse. Glaciers are water, streamlined chub. And it was April when it was in the 90s. How could they not think about things melting all the time? Tawny Crescent. They tried to balance out all their anxiety with loud attempts at celebrations of life. Tiger Salamander. They tried to do this in often ineffectual ways. Timber rattlesnake. They were anxious and were covering things over. Unnamed dragonfly species. They were anxious and they were paralysed by the largeness and the connectedness of systems. A largeness of relation that they like to think about and often celebrated, but now seemed unbearably tragic. Upland 
Sandpiper. The systems of relation between living things of all sorts seemed to have become in recent centuries so hierarchically human that things not human were dying at an unprecedented rate. Wavy rayed lamp muscle. And the systems of human governments and corporations felt so large and unchangeable and so distant from them, yet the effects of their actions felt so connected and so immediate to what was happening with poor will. They knew this, but didn't know what else to do with Turtle. And so they just went on living while talking loudly, Worm Snake, living and watching on a thing, screen, things far away from them melting yellow-breasted chat. 